Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It's Thursday, which is really our Friday this week, July 2nd, and this is our weekly recap. If you're interested in learning more about me, check me out at SmartOptionTrading.com. So what a week it's been. It's been a pretty much a bullish week, a low volume melt up this week. You can see four days. We got the nice reversal candle on Monday. You know, last Friday, we talked about how bottoms very rarely bottom on a Friday. And here we came down, we went below the Friday's close, reversed on Monday, pushed up, got some nice trades, retook the 200 day, got follow through on Tuesday. With Fed on Wednesday, we got a very tight range candle. And then on the jobs number this morning, we had a nice gap up. And we came right up into resistance, but we couldn't push, at least not yet with about 55 minutes to go. I'm probably not gonna hang around to the close today. And what's going on here is the SPY is pushed right to the edge of this gap. This is our island top that is controlling this market. We need to invalidate that. By invalidating that, you need to push above this 31, what is the magic number? 31.15.64, fill this gap, and then this becomes obsolete and it's gone. So just no power today, but back above the Fib retracement, volume very, very light, holiday week, summer volume, right, as we go into there. And uh, just, you know, nothing to be overly concerned about. Do we have headline risks this, this weekend? Of course we do. You know, unlike a normal holiday weekend, we go into with three days with uh, a lot of potential coronavirus headlines and maybe even some China headlines. But bottom line is this market is pretty bullish right now. And ultimately, Monday is typically a bullish day. And then we start looking towards earnings the week after. So with that said, everything looks pretty good here. If you wanted to know where the volume was and what to play this week, let me pull up what did I play this week. I played a lot of different things this week. Uh, Boeing gave some nice trades early this week. Spot had another big move. Boeing, we had some nice trades on this on Monday and it's done nothing since, no follow through. Uh, what else? Tesla gave a monster week, right? Tesla, nice, look at this four day move, extremely extended up here. Not a place to be chasing this. Amazon, all time highs today on the open, another monster move there. We saw the same thing in Microsoft, another all time high here, strong move there. Uh, Netflix put in all-time high this week, another strong move there. Square had an explosive move in all-time highs, giving a little bit of a pull in today. You got a reversal candle there. And this is not unusual. This goes on. You know, market things make highs. They get extended. They rotate elsewhere. Apple here has been a tough trade this week. It had a nice day on Monday and Tuesday, but follow through has been tough and it's choppy. It's just shy of all-time highs as well. Roku saw a big buying yesterday in next week's 130 calls. They got a continuation today when they came after the weekly 132 and 133 calls. So you had nice trading there. Sono, uh, I'm not in Sono, but we saw buying, a big buying into these July 1750 calls today. That is a buyout play. Are they getting bought out? I don't really know. Citron has been posting that, that they're going to get bought like mad and like crazy. And, uh, you know, it's just his opinion. There's nothing to do with that. He keeps saying Apple's going to buy them. Bottom line, it was a strong week uh, on the week, this week. We have some nice moves. FedEx gave a beautiful move off of earnings, right? That was a beautiful move. Micron made nice money on that on earnings. One thing I don't like about Micron here is it's not holding up specifically well since earnings. You got this big gap. It already came down and almost filled it. Not trading well. And AMD is also not trading well here, continues to go sideways. But Qualcomm is quietly waking back up again. I love when this name's in play. Very, very sneaky, quiet move today there. So with that said, guys, it is a three-day weekend. Monday's typically a bullish day. We'll see how we come in and set up there. And I'm going to wish all of you a happy July 4th. Be safe. Enjoy it with your friends. If you don't in the United States, have a great long weekend and be safe and enjoy it and relax. The markets will be here on Monday. Everybody have a fabulous weekend. Thanks for listening.